This is the Philippines. But for years, this nation has been at the center of a global flashpoint, locked in a tense standoff with China over the South China Sea. This isn't just a fishing dispute, it's a high-stakes conflict with ripples that reach far beyond Asia. Yet behind the headlines of modern politics, the Philippines guards a secret far older and far stranger, a secret buried in the earth that could fundamentally change everything. This is not just a story of a discovery, it's a story about a battle. And the outcome of this battle for the truth could shake the very foundations of global power. For too long, the history of this nation was told through the lens of its colonizers, beginning with the Spanish in the 1500s, a narrative that portrayed a country waiting to be discovered. But a quiet, relentless campaign by archaeologists and scientists is fighting back, uncovering a new, much older narrative that challenges that very idea. This isn't just about fossils and artifacts. This is a war for identity, a battle to reclaim a history that was deliberately erased. We will reveal a shocking discovery in the Philippines that points to a lost human relative a plant with a power that a greedy industry is racing to control, and a simple legal receipt that proves ancient Filipinos were far more sophisticated than we've been led to believe. And at the heart of this conflict is a profound tragedy, a lost village looted by treasure hunters that proves just how much of our past is still under attack. If you're interested in this topic, hit the like button, subscribe, and type interested in the comments, and I will give you a heart. Our first bombshell discovery in the Philippines came from an unassuming location in the Cagayan Valley. Here, scientists uncovered a graveyard of stone tools and the butchered bones of an ancient rhinoceros. The age? A staggering 700,000 years. This was a direct, head-on collision with the established history of human migration. It was like finding a car in the middle of a Roman ruin. It just didn't make sense. The academic world exploded. Leading paleontologists refused to believe it. It's an anomaly, some declared. The dating is wrong, others argued. The controversy was a fierce battle over the timeline of human history. The tools were undeniable proof of a sophisticated kill, but the hunters themselves were missing. The leading theory points to Homo erectus, but the question of how they crossed to an island remained a deep source of conflict. Was it a chance storm that brought them, clinging to uprooted mangroves? Or did they possess a seafaring knowledge that we never credited them with? A discovery that would fundamentally change how we view early human ingenuity. This find wasn't just a piece of the past. It was a gauntlet thrown down, forcing the entire scientific community to reconsider its fundamental assumptions. It was the first skirmish in the war for the Philippines' ancient past. It told us that for hundreds of thousands of years, these islands were not a forgotten corner of the world, but a frontier for humanity. But the biggest revelation, the one that would forever change our understanding of who we are, was yet to come. The story of the anonymous hunters was fascinating, but it was just the beginning of the fight. The biggest twist was still to come, and it ignited a war within the scientific community itself. Because in 2019, deep inside a remote cave, researchers uncovered something that didn't just challenge our timeline, it added a brand new unseen member to our family tree. They called it a species no one saw coming, Homo lusonensis. This was a major scientific discovery, but not everyone was ready to accept it. The fossils were a strange mix of features, and some of the world's most prominent anthropologists claimed the find was inconclusive. They argued the bones were simply a collection of different human relatives, not a single new species. This ignited a bitter years-long debate in the scientific journals, on one side were the Filipino archaeologists and their international partners who meticulously proved their findings. On the other, the old guard, fighting to maintain a clean, linear story of human evolution. But the evidence was overwhelming. The fossils showed that Homo luzonensis was a new kind of human, perfectly adapted to the island's jungle environment, a ghost in our family tree, living here in the Philippines while Neanderthals and Denisovans roamed elsewhere. The conflict over their origin is a profound one. Were they the descendants of the hunters from 700,000 years ago, evolving in isolation for half a million years, the old guard still won't concede. But their existence forces us to confront a new reality. That the Philippines was a hotbed of human evolution, a crucible for a kind of human we never knew existed. But here's the unbelievable part. The secrets aren't just buried in the past. In these islands, even nature is a battleground. Imagine a plant that drinks in metal like a sponge. A quiet, unassuming miracle with the power to heal damaged land. Meet Renoria nicolifera, a rare plant with an extraordinary gift. 
First identified in 2014, this green marvel can pull massive amounts of nickel from the soil, one of the most dangerous and sought order metals on Earth without withering away. It's a living, breathing, natural purifier. This scientific discovery has the potential to transform how we heal land scarred by a century of destructive mining, offering a cleaner, greener alternative to traditional explosive extraction. But here's the conflict. This plant is now at the center of a high stakes race. On one side are the environmentalists and scientists, fighting to protect the plant and harness its power to restore the land. On the other side is a powerful mining industry, hungry for the very metal the plant absorbs. This industry operates with a ruthless efficiency, and its practices have already pushed the plant to the brink of extinction. This is a story of a quiet champion with a massive power, teetering on the edge of oblivion. Will we protect it and open the door to a new era of sustainable mining, or will it be a silent cat? casualty of human greed vanishing into history. The fate of this little green marvel, a true discovery in the Philippines, is a microcosm of the larger conflict over this nation's natural resources. It's a battle that will determine not only the future of this plant, but the future of the land itself. From nature's quiet superpowers, the story shifts to humanity's first messages carved in stone. The Angono petroglyphs, the oldest known artwork in the Philippines, stand as a defiant rebuttal to the idea that this land was a cultural blank slate, dating back to 2500 BC. These ancient carvings were the work of generations, telling a shared story before there were words. But the true conflict came with the discovery of the Laguna copper plate inscription. This small copper sheet, found in 1986, is the earliest known written record in the Philippines, dated to the year 900 AD. It's etched with a legal message. A man had cleared a debt of 865 grams of gold, securing his daughter's freedom. In that tiny plate lies proof of a complex legal and economic system. A society with laws, debts, and the sophisticated use of a written script. This wasn't a primitive culture, it was a thriving civilization. This single scientific discovery is a powerful weapon in the ongoing war over the Philippines' history, directly contradicting the colonial narrative that ancient Filipinos were unorganized and without their own systems of governance. It's the kind of evidence that changes everything. It proves that centuries before a foreign flag was ever raised on these shores, ancient Filipinos were trading, recording, and governing under their own sophisticated systems. It's a foundational truth that is vital to the ongoing battle for the nation's identity and its place in global human history. And the trail of these forgotten marvels leads deeper still. Heat trail of history leads deeper still. In 2011, on the forested slopes of Mount Comantic, a group of dedicated archaeologists made a haunting discovery a thousand-year-old burial site carved directly into solid limestone. This wasn't just bones scattered in the dirt. These were coffins, tombs carved with careful precision, a burial tradition unlike anything else across Southeast Asia. The people laid to rest here weren't just surviving. They belonged to a society with deep customs, beliefs, and a profound respect for their dead. And this all happened long before the Spanish ever arrived. But here's the conflict. These sites are remote and undefended, making them a prime target for looters. The archaeologists working here are in a race against time, fighting to uncover the secrets of these ancient civilizations before illegal treasure hunters can tear them apart for profit. It's a battle between knowledge and greed, between preserving a people's heritage and watching it disappear into the black market. The very act of unearthing these sites is an act of war, a brave stand against those who seek to profit from the destruction of culture. Every shard of pottery, every ancient bone is a piece of evidence in this conflict. The discovery here reveals a civilization that existed in these islands with a dignity and artistry that was later erased. This is a crucial chapter in the larger story of the Philippines' past, a truth that must be protected at all costs. So here's the question that haunts us all. If this is what we've uncovered so far, what else is still hidden beneath the surface? The answer tragically lies in the story of a lost village and a final heart-wrenching discovery in the Philippines. In a protected area, archaeologists found 15 limestone tombs belonging to a village that dated back a thousand years. But these weren't ordinary graves. The carved limestone coffins were unlike anything previously found in the Philippines, with intricate lids adorned with pre-colonial motifs. This was proof of of a society that was organized, spiritual, and culturally rich. But here's where things get worse, and the conflict turns to tragedy. By the time researchers arrived, treasure hunters had already looted much of the site. 
They stole the lids, the skeletons, and countless artifacts that could have revealed even more about this ancient world. The very people who could tell us their story were stolen, their final resting place desecrated. This is the painful reality of these incredible scientific discoveries, that our past is not only waiting to be found, but is also in danger of being lost forever. This tragic act of vandalism is more than just a crime, it is a profound assault on human history. The silence of these empty tombs speaks volumes. We will never know the full story of this ancient village. We will never be able to fully piece together this crucial part of our shared human history. This loss is incalculable, a piece of the puzzle that has been violently ripped away forever. From a lost species of human to a plant with a magical power, from a legal receipt written a thousand years ago to a stolen village, the Philippines has emerged not just as a beautiful tourist destination, but as a crucial living archive of our collective past. It is a land where ancient humans shaped history, where nature bends the rules, and where every new discovery in the Philippines is a reminder that we know far less than we think we do. The Philippines is, in every sense of the word, a cradle of human life and innovation. Its rich history and its unique biodiversity are treasures not just for its people, but for all of humanity. Every new find shows us that the story of humanity is far more complex, far richer and far stranger than we ever imagined. The Philippines is at the center of this new story, a beacon of forgotten marvels. The ongoing conflicts from the geopolitical to the academic and the environmental all underscore a single profound truth, that the past is not a settled issue. It is a living, breathing part of the present, and the stories hidden in these islands have the power to shape the future. The discoveries we have shared today are not just scientific curiosities, they are weapons in a war for identity, history, and truth itself. So I ask you, after the conflict and revelations we've seen, don't you wonder how many more secrets lie buried just beneath our feet? The lesson here is clear. The past is not dead. It is waiting. It is also under attack. It's up to us to protect these incredible sites from treasure hunters and to support the archaeologists and scientists who are fighting to uncover them. It's a matter of preserving not just the history of a nation, but a critical chapter in human history itself. The Philippines' struggle to protect its past is a fight for all of us. These are not just artifacts. They are the keys to understanding who we are and where we came from. We must demand that these historical sites are preserved and protected and that the stories of the people who lived here are never erased again. This is a call to action. We must stand on the side of knowledge and truth against the forces of greed and destruction. Our shared history depends on it.